I'm early, I'm early, said the hare, who had woken from his hibernation in February. What am I doing here? Why now? Why me? I should be asleep. I want, I want, I want to go back to sleep. There was a huge meeting of animals. Yeah, something's wrong. Something bad. But don't stick around here, otherwise we'll eat you. The hare rushed away. He met an armadillo. Well, I'm keeping my armour on. There were loads of other rabbits and hares. And the people just looked. I'll go and find my friend. I'll go and... That's me! Oh, look, that's me. Ha <laughs> ha, My friend, yes. Uh, have you seen my friend? He asked the hawk. Yes, he's in the castle, in the world of men. You know, the winter is lost. We can't find it anywhere. He went to the castle and found his friend, the dog. Do you know what's happening? Oh, yeah. The world is hot. The world is cold, but the wrong bits. And now, everything's melting. Oh, well, what are we going to do? Well, in the world of men, they do nothing. They sit around, they ignore us, ignore all the animals. My friend, the polar bear, says all they do is sing and dance. Silly and distracted. I say again. What are we going to do? While well, the water gets higher. Is lost. They will not listen to me, said the dog. They will not listen to any of us. There is only one they will listen to. The great one who lives at the bottom of the ocean. But to find her we have to travel there. Let's go then. You and I. The two animals ran and ran. Past the great cities of men. They dived into the ocean. Deeper and deeper they went. And there they found the great one. Who, when she heard, rose up out of the water and onto the shore. Stop! You have to change. Time is running out. It is you and you alone who've lost the winter, and you must find it, said the hare. We are waiting. I understand. You have the key.